What is going on, crew? We are gonna work on Maryland. We got some parts. Let's go check them out. Well, the SD card had a problem when I was showing you guys the parts and what I had to do to make the exhaust fit. So here we go again. We got the cross member. Here's the stock one. And we had to get the cross member just so the headers can come by and miss it. What I showed you guys before, but that's not here now. The cross member was here. This header went below it and that one went above it so it was all funky so we had to rip that out and now we got this one right here we're gonna put it in there you see how it hit humps up like that on both ends to miss the exhaust but we have to trim it right here probably like eighth inch on each side then mark the holes because this is the 4L80E tranny in it, and the mount is farther back, so the holes for this are up here. And now we have to mount some holes right here to make this fit right there. So, let's go chop it and do another little test fit, see if it goes in. Oh, and here's the exhaust we got. Nothing fancy. Just some mufflers. We're going two and a half inch pipe on it. We're just gonna go from the headers and we're gonna probably dump right here somewhere. Ooh, look at those. Oh yeah. We're just gonna dump right here. One here, one over there. Just to get it going so we can drive it down the road. Let's go cut that pipe now. So I was gonna mount you guys on the tripod but the tripod broke, so you guys are gonna be now on my chest. Let's hope it comes out good. Let's go. So we're just gonna chop off about eighth inch, quarter inch on each side. Then it should fit. Maybe we'll try with one side first. All right. Chopped about a quarter off one side to start, but I think it's gonna need both. Let's go see. Let's check it out. Oh, gonna chop the same off this side and then we're gonna put it back in all right so we trimmed up the mount we got so if you have a 4l80 tranny and you get this mount right here from Amazon we ordered this from Amazon yes I know but that's where it came from with a new tranny mount and I think it was like 89 bucks or something but you were gonna have to trim it. I had to trim the back part on both sides, like quarter inch, and then a little bit of grinding on it a little bit. And I am about ready. This side I drilled new holes. And so over here, we're gonna get new holes. I already have the pilot holes and we should mount it up. It's all mounted up. Mounted up, looks good. Definitely room for the exhaust now. Tons of room. Just weird, this header's higher than this one. 
drives me crazy. I don't know why it does that. But it is what it is. All right, gonna clean up and run a little bit of pipe right here, see where we're gonna like the muffler and go from there. Looks good though. Looks good. Here's the mount I went with. TD Trans Depot. I think that's what it is. Yep. Performance products. Really not bad for 89 bucks. Oh, and there's stickers down there. Sweet. Sweet. Love stickers for the sticker door. Here's what was down there. Yeah, it's old and ugly. Out with that one. And in with that new one. Looks good. For the exhaust, I'm gonna run these right here off the headers. I know it's not pretty or anything, but I'm no exhaust man. And I'm just going with this exhaust right here. Just some cheap, cheaper exhaust than buying some full exhaust right now because it's still up in the air. I don't know if I wanna put a turbo on her. It'd be sweet to have a big turbo right there, but I don't know yet. So we're just gonna go with this exhaust to get it on the street. The reason why I was going with this flex right here. Let me see if I can hold the camera. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it on here. Straight off the header. Like that. So I can push this up some that to keep it up off the ground and then same thing with the other side because if not this is a straight pipe right here and it just well that side comes out all right that's because that header is different it's weird this one if we just go straight pipe if go straight pipe it's gonna it drops it down here on the ground and for some reason, this one just picks it up. So we're gonna add the flex right here to push it up, but I need a coupler. So until then, I think we're gonna have to order a couple more parts to get this going. And hopefully they'll be here before the weekend because I really want to drive Maryland so bad. Around the block or so, that's all. With some exhaust on it. All right, so the parts came in that we needed for the exhaust. And I kind of put everything together and I didn't get the GoPro out to show you guys what I did. But here's what I came up with. Here's the little coupler I needed to put the flex pipe on there. And then we just went with some I think that's about four foot of two and a half inch pipe. Then we just got a muffler and then we're gonna 90 out the side. I welded up one already and put it back in. It looks pretty good. Gonna have it just dump out right here next to the back tire and just mount it up. And then I got some hangers I'm gonna put in there to hang it all up. But right now I'm gonna weld this one together and then we'll mount it and we'll fire it up to see how it sounds. But for this exhaust system, I think I have about $230 into this with the pipe, the muffler, and that little flex piece right there. It's not bad. And then I got, it came with two 90s or U-shaped pipe little 45s and the ends right there it came with and two four foot sections so that's not really bad at all for the price so let's weld it up <laughs> Thank you. 
welded together and those are probably the best damn welds you guys have ever seen i'm not even going to show you guys it i don't want you to be jealous yeah they ain't the best but i didn't burn through a pipe so they work it's all together i only put a little tack here and a little tack here on the end because i don't know if i'm gonna keep it that way or not but it's staying there for now it's all welded up gonna slam it in the truck really quick quick and fire it up see what it sounds like all right so it's all in bolted up to the headers ran back sitting on some jack stands right now for now i gotta turn that that is crooked i gotta unloosen that and turn it back oops all in Hold now on. it's all bolted up to the headers all the way back mufflers are back there we have it dumping out right there in front of the rear tires both sides and for the price of it less than 300 bucks i like it can't go wrong there because you never know it might get chopped up and there might be a turbo up there oh let's go look at the motor real quick i'll show you guys the motor Look nice and high up there. The exhaust is all tucked up. Here's the inside. Nothing pretty yet. But it will. It will be. But here, check this out. There's the heart right here. It's a 496 8.1 big block that Chevy made for a couple years. And I had flat iron garage. They installed it and wired it up for me. They're pretty sweet. Check them out on Instagram. They have, they do a lot of work. They do a lot of sweet cars there. But they did this for me, installed it, and let's fire it up. Let's see what it sounds like. good for the price i am not gonna complain at all i think the headers were like 47 dollars a piece even not bad at all runs really good so tomorrow we will be adding the brackets on there and maybe we'll go around the block with it Let's hope so. sweet well until we do more work on maryland smash that subscribe button right there and share the page and we'll be doing some more work to her we do a lot of things on this page until then peace out guys <laughs>